Okay, so if we look up, lads, one more example that can come up is you could be given the two focal points and a point P. So you mentioned this was in a short question one time. Now, there is a rule with an ellipse. If you have both your focal points and you have a point on your curve, if you join those together, so you join F1 and F2 to point P, the combined distance of those lines, so if you took this distance and then added on this one, it's going to add up to your major axis. That's just a rule you have to learn off. So we're taking distance number one, distance number two, and we're adding them together. Now, when you add them together, they equal your major axis. Don't get confused about what your major axis is. Your major axis is not from the center point out to the edge. It's from the very left to the very right. So that means when you add those two distances together, you're going to be measuring from your extreme left to your extreme right. Okay? In order to do that, we have to know where to start. So what I would do is I would find the center point first. The center point is obviously going to be between the two focal points. Right? So what you should do is just do your bisecting method, but just for quickness, I'll just have it with the measuring. So it's going to be there. So my center point is going to be that point. That means I have to come out equal distance left and right for my major axis. So I'll add up what those actually are. The first one is 102, and the second one is 52. So we have 102 plus 52, which gives me 154. That means that my major axis from left to right is going to be 154. Now if I want to draw a major circle, I take half of that. So half of 154 is 77, is it? Yeah, 77. So set my compass to 77. Draw in my major circle. Okay. And then what we do is we find ourselves in a similar kind of location. We have point P, we have the major circle, so we can repeat the process from up here. 